So here's the current condition of the mill. I added the table back on and I finished up all of the cranks. So it's looking pretty good so far. I also added back on the control box, though the actual insides are not in there right now. I've also installed the drive shaft for the table feed. So the automatic feed should work. And just yesterday I finished painting the RAM. So it's looking really good, so I took all the masking tape off it. All the controls and the belt pulleys and everything, I took those all off just to make painting a little easier. I also removed the bracket that holds the motor. Uh, I'll get to those a little later. Right now I'm just going to work on putting the RAM back onto the machine itself. Okay, I've got it all chained up my engine hoist here. I'm just going to see if I can pick this up nice and level-ish. Okay, so I've got the RAM on, and I'm going to go ahead and put the gib on now to put it permanently in place. Okay, now that I've got that gib installed. I don't have to worry about this slipping off in any way, so I'll go ahead and take the hoist off. And now it's going to work on installing the crank that moves the ram back and forth. Okay, so I've got the RAM all installed. I can crank it back and forth. And now I'm just going to add the arm that provides support for the arbor. Oh. Man, this thing is heavy. Okay, so that took a lot of persuading to get that on here. Um, but I was able to get it on. It's nice and smooth now. It was just really hard to start because it's just such a tight fit in there. But uh, I got it kind of set up here with a nice big arbor cutter just to see how it looks. Uh, looks pretty good. So yeah, it's starting to look like a real serious piece of machinery again, which is nice. Hopefully in just another few weeks you'll be able to start actually cutting stuff with it. So yeah. But uh, yeah, up next I'll be finishing up the motor mounts the motor and the controls, and that should be about it. A little bit of electrical work, and then uh, I saw the phase converter and then started up, so, yep. Well, thanks for watching.